What's up you guys it's Deepo and today I'm going to show you how to create this gold foil effect in Photoshop. Now you can use this gold foil to place it into your text or any shape of your choice or maybe on your logo as well. So now if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in Photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours let's get started. So the first step we need to do is create a new document so for that go to file and then select option new. After that set the width as 1280 pixels, height as 720 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on ok. After that we need to bring in any random image of our choice so for that again go to file and then select option place. After that you can select any random image but if you want to go along with the image I am selecting then the download link for this image will be in the description below. After that click on this option place. Now make sure you scale this image properly so that it fits the whole document. Now press shift while scaling in order to scale it evenly. So now this is looking proper after that click on the stick icon to place it. Now let me just zoom into the image, you can press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus plus key of your keyboard to zoom in. Now after that you need to right click on the image layer and then select the option as rasterize layer. After that go to filter and then blur and then select the option as Gaussian blur. After that set the value of the radius to around 30 pixels and after setting it your image should look somewhat blurry like this. After that click on OK. After that again go to filter and then select the option as liquify. After that select the forward warp tool and then set the size of the brush to around 900. Pressure of the brush to around 100 and now using the brush you need to create the image as follows. Now after that make sure that all the edges are covered with the image and there is no gap. So now this looks proper, now it's not compulsory to create the image same exactly as mine, you can create a random one, after that click on ok. So now once you have liquefied this image, now after that we need to convert this image into a smart object, so for that again right click on the layer of the image and then select the option as convert to smart object. Now after that we need to add that glossy look for our gold foil effect, so for that go to filter and then select the option as filter gallery. In order to fit the image into the screen, all you need to do is press Ctrl or Command on Mac plus minus key of your keyboard in order to zoom out. After that you need to expand the distort group and then select the option as glass from there. After that set the value of the distortion to around 15, set the value of smoothness to around 2 and then set the texture as frosted and then set the scaling to around 100%. Now once you have done that, your image should look something like this, after that click on OK. So now as you can see we have that glossy effect for our gold foil effect, now let's sharpen it a little bit more, so for that again go to filter and then sharpen and then select the option as sharpen. Now let me just show you the before and after of this sharpen, so for that clicking on this eye icon. So this was the before. And now this is the after. So now as you can see the base part of our gold foil effect is ready. Now let's give the color of the gold as well in order to make it look complete. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as gradient mask. After that click on the icon of the gradient which will give you a pop up to select a gradient. After that select the option as black and white. And then double click on the left bottom color stop. And then set the color as follows. 291103 and then click on ok. Now after that we need to create one more color stop in the middle so for that go over there and then one hand tool will appear after that click on that to add a color stop and then set the location of that color stop to around 50% after that double click on the color stop in order to change its color and then set the color as follows BF7E03 and then click on ok. After that double click on the right bottom color stop in order to set its color and then set the color as follows F8 E6 A7 and then click on OK. After that click on OK and then let me just minimize this. 
So now as you can see our gold foil is now ready. Now after that we need to merge these two layers into a single layer and convert it into a smart object. So for that press Ctrl or Command on Mac and then click on this image layer which will give you the selection of that layer and keep the selection of the gradient map layer. After that right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. Now since in this tutorial I am going to show how to add this gold foil effect to your text so for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice. Download link for the font I am choosing is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. After that set any appropriate size for the text and then set the foreground color as any color of your choice which will be the color of our text. And then using the horizontal type tool click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. After that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now after that we need to place this text at the center of the document so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this background layer. After that select move tool and then click on this align vertical centers. After that click on align horizontal centers. So now as you can see the text has been placed at the center of the document. Now after that make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now after that we need to place this text layer below our gold foil layer so for that let me just drag it down. Now after that right click on the gold foil layer and then select the option as create clipping mask. So now as you can see only the text has that gold foil effect now using the move tool you can move this gold foil in order to find the best position. Or maybe if you like you can scale it as well so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t in order to bring up the transform tool. Now once it looks proper after that click on the stick icon in order to place it. Now after that let's add some nice black paper in the background so for that make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then go to file and then select the option as place. After that select any black paper of your choice download link for this black paper I am choosing is in the description below and then click on the option place. After that scale the image so that it fits the document. So now as you can see it is looking proper now after that let's add some bevel and emboss to this text so that it looks like as if it's printed on this paper. So for that make the text layer active by clicking on it. And then right click on the layer and then select the option as convert to smart object. After that click on add layer style option and then select the option as blending options. After that select the bevel and emboss option and then set the style as outer bevel. Technique as smooth, depth as 100%, direction as down, set the size to around 5 pixels, soften to around 0 pixel and then set the angle to around 90 degree. Make sure you have this use global light option as ticked, altitude to around 30 degree, gloss contour to linear, blend mode of the highlight mode to soft light, color as white and then make sure its opacity is to around 100%. After that set the blend mode of the shadow mode to soft light as well and then set the color as black and then increase its opacity to around 100% as well. After that click on ok. So now as you can see now it is looking like as if it's printed on this paper. Now but for prints we never see a sharp edge. Now in order to solve that thing go to filter and then noise and then select the option as median. After that set the radius to around 5 pixels. Now let me just show you the before and after of this effect so for that clicking on this preview checkbox. So as you can see as you notice the edges now it is sharp so this is the before. And now this is the after. So now as you can see the edges are looking a bit rounded. After that click on ok. Also let's add some ripple to this text in order to make it look more proper. So for that again go to filter. And then distort. And then select the option as ripple. After that set the size as large. And then set the amount to around 5%. And then click on ok. So now as you can see now it is looking proper and perfect. So yeah that's it guys this will give you a gold foil effect in photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then hit the like button. Also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos and subscribe to the channel for more videos in photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.